coming up on Lloyd and Mandy. Oh, so close. So about three o'clock in the morning, while we were sleeping, massive elephant came in here. Is that is that one of the footprints? Wow! Wow, you can actually see like his toes here. Because it does have a lot of history, like it's the ancient kingdom of Sri Lanka. Oh, that's delicious. Can I finish it? Yeah. Get just what I'm longing for. Sounds like getting crazy. Being a nomad is not a vacation. It's freedom, but it's also discipline. It's an exchange of security for enhanced experiences. It's a way of life. episode we want to thank our sponsor BetterHelp for making this free content possible. Okay so when you're living out of a suitcase full-time like us which don't get me wrong is a lot of fun mental health can be a real challenge especially when it's only the two of us and we don't have anyone else to really talk to. We're quite lucky in today's episode we're staying with a local family here in Sri Lanka which has made it a lot easier but it's not always that easy. That's where our sponsor BetterHelp comes into the picture. BetterHelp connected us with licensed therapists during some of the tough times on the road. Therapy isn't just for crisis. It's a staple of mental wellness, akin to that of a morning run or hitting the gym. We've really reshaped our opinions on mental health, especially since finding BetterHelp. And we're not alone. Over 4 million people have turned to BetterHelp to find a therapist that's right for them. What stood out to us the most about BetterHelp is how they eliminate the geographical lottery of finding a good therapist. They have over 30,000 therapists registered online all around the world. And it's as simple as filling out a questionnaire online. They understand the value of matching you with someone who gets you. And if it's not clicking or it doesn't feel right, you can simply switch therapists at no extra charge. It's therapy on your terms, video chat, messaging, or a phone call. It's really about getting your thoughts out in the open. Like I said, me and Mandy spend 24 seven with each other. And although we do act as therapists to each other, it helps to have an outside voice. So we would encourage anybody who's been thinking about therapy or maybe has some mental health challenges to reach out to BetterHelp. You can use our link that we've provided down below in the description and you'll receive a 10% discount for your first month. So take that step, click the link down below, start the conversation with BetterHelp. It's one of the most empowering choices we have made for ourselves and we think it could be for you too. All right, now into the episode. trip continues. <laughs> we are just about to jump back in the tuk-tuk and we are heading to a place called Habarana today. That's how you say it, right? Habanara. Hab <laughs> it's Habarana. Habarana. Ha I've had the hardest time remembering any names. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if something's going on with my brain lately, but like Mandy seems to remember all the names. And whenever somebody asks us where we're going or where we've been, I just blank. They're difficult names for us to remember. We're also sleep deprived. I also have a migraine today. I get these things called aura migraines. Um, makes me go like blind in one eye, but I'm pushing through it because I want to show up for our channel and we're only here for a few more days and I want to finish this road trip. So we're going to get through it. <laughs> I think uh, it's been almost six weeks now of like nonstop moving, traveling. That's kind of the point where it starts to get exhausting yeah, a little probably, bit we've probably stayed in like 12 hotels yeah or something like it's ridiculous so yeah it starts to get a little bit much and start to get brain fog and sleep gets a bit harder we aren't complaining by any means we know we are very fortunate to be doing what we're doing but just want to share the reality of it um you don't always feel a hundred percent healthy in this lifestyle so once this is over we are going to be taking um a little bit of a slow down break but also, we don't know when or if we'll be back in Sri Lanka, so yeah. we're still going <laughs> to enjoy the last week that we're here. So. Absolutely. So we better uh, get on the road now. 
we discovered a massive spider <laughs> as we were packing our bags that must have slept with us last night. Thankfully we discovered it this morning and not last night. It's terrifying. <laughs> Lloyd hates spiders. Uh, I'm not scared of spiders. <laughs> I'm scared of anything. Whatever. That's what we need in our room. <laughs> after asking the guy if anyone had ever walked through it. <laughs> Hello, can we check it out? Start it here. Slow down here. Oh, I can't see Ella. Up here. Yeah. Here. Here. So we've done like Two thirds, half mm. of the country. Yeah. And we're driving from here to there. finding bathrooms along the way. In Vietnam, it was quite a challenge, especially on buses. They didn't like stopping and there wasn't toilets on the buses, but we've had a lot of luck. Every food city has had a toilet in it and most of the petrol stations have had toilets that you're allowed to use as well. And they're not like stuck up about it either. Like they let you use them, which is awesome. So something that'll give you peace of mind if you're wanting to do one of these road trips. welcome drinks everywhere. Oh, this is so good. So they just had us light that. Um, the wick with the candle symbolizes prosperity and it's how they welcome all of their guests. It's very beautiful, we haven't had that yet. Mango tree? It's mango. Wow. Wow. Good find, honey. Look at the size of this TV. There's like a little sort of kitchenette in here too. This is really nice. Very nice. Nice view. And I'm so doing yoga out here under the mango tree in the morning. I need to have a lay down though. <laughs> All right, well the rain finally stopped and um, they actually have a kitchen sort of restaurant down here. I think it's the mum who cooks all the food, like traditional Sri Lankan food. So we're just gonna have dinner here. We're gonna go downstairs 
and um, have some dinner because I'm starving. And she's cooking our favorite chicken kotu. That's been our favorite Sri Lankan meal while we've been here. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, we tried it for the first time on our Sri Lankan food tour with Kavit. And um, that was definitely the best thing we had, eh? Yeah. We've been having it like almost every day since. Yeah. So this is coconut sambal. Yeah. It's not spicy. I've had it before, but I've had it spicy. Okay. And then egg gravy. Okay, it's just before 7 a.m. Um, we've gotten up early to go do the hike. We were gonna go do Sigiria, but the, the family that we're staying with has told us about another place that's just next to it. And it's way cheaper and it's like a better and pretty much the same experience. Sigiria is like $30 per person US. Um, and this is only a thousand um, rupees. So we're gonna go do that. And they, they tell everyone they said to do this instead. So um, a little hack for you guys as well. We're very excited, getting up early. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. I have <laughs> spent the last few days with migraine, so I have not been feeling my best. It's kind of been a crappy end to our um, trip so far, but um, I'm feeling okay at the moment. I'm just hoping one doesn't hit while we're hiking. <laughs> They've been cooking us breakfast and dinner with all organic food that they grow themselves. It's been so nice and it's the most peaceful spot ever. It's quiet, there's so much nature, like there's monkeys everywhere, there's elephants everywhere. We're hoping we're gonna see some elephants while we're here, but um, it sounds like they're really big pests <laughs> uh, to all the people around here. The rock that we're headed to is called Pedurangala. Probably butchering that as per usual. Looks like we're about there. The drive out here oh, <laughs> has been so beautiful. We're just on a dirt road to get out here now. There's lots of little hostels and things that you can stay a lot closer, but I love where we're staying. Okay, so there's a monkey problem over there, so <laughs> we gotta park here. <laughs> okay. These guys are watching, I mean. <laughs> Where are they at? You carved these yeah. yourself? Yeah, it's my carving. It's my handmade. Very it's nice. Secret box. Opening. But it's a secret. <laughs> One, two. Ah. Outside. Outside. Just dull. Ah, okay. Okay. Secret box. That is so a it's secret. Like a safe. Great craftsmanship. You're talented. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hi. Are you all coming for the hike? <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> Alright, we started by walking in the wrong direction. Kinda wish the guy selling secret boxes would have told us that we were walking in the wrong direction. He pointed us in this direction. <laughs> I guess the entrance is a secret too, huh? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay, I guess the hike starts with a cave temple. Didn't know that. <laughs> Bring pants. 
and something to cover your shoulders. Oh my gosh, we're being surrounded. We gotta get out of here. This is freaking me out. Feels like monkeys are surrounding us. Where do we go? I think over here. You've very much got to sort of navigate your way around here. Just keep walking where there looks like there might be a path. We're the only ones out of everyone else that we've seen have taken their shoes off. <laughs> we're rule followers. <laughs> Every five minutes, come to like a dead end, and we got to figure out where we took a wrong turn. <laughs> All right, I think we found it. I'm extremely puffed. It's nothing but stairs. But it feels like we're at the top, which is actually quicker than I thought. I could be wrong. It feels like the top to me. We're hoping it is. It's a lot of sky, and this is the big rock it looks like. That wasn't the top. But there's an arrow. It's red and green though. That was a dog. A dog There's a little dog up here. Are you okay? Wow, what a view. This is incredible. Isn't this amazing? It's pretty incredible. Well, my uh, puppy ran off into the bushes. Um, <laughs> uh, there's another dog up here though, so I'm assuming that it's all good. Hoping. Sweet little thing. This was a beautiful hike, so, so worth it. Did you enjoy it, love? Honestly, it wasn't as long as I thought, but it's very steep. It's not easy. I was sweating very hard. <laughs> if you've got the money to spend and the time to spend and you want to actually explore the rock itself, because it does have a lot of history, like it's the ancient kingdom of Sri Lanka. Someone explained it to me, so it would be pretty cool. But if you don't want to spend that money or the time, uh, this is pretty cool too. Also, it has not been very busy here, and I can see the lineup of people doing the steps from here on Siguria. It looks very busy, so I think um, that's just another thing to keep in mind. We've got to have this thing pretty much to ourselves, so that's pretty cool. We did meet a couple of other YouTubers on the way up. They were on their way down. Um, so we'll give them a shout out. It's Silky Ron the Road. They're pretty much just doing exactly what we're, we're doing. They've been traveling nonstop for two years now. Yeah, yeah. On their honeymoon, same as us. So give them a follow. Yeah. You know, we didn't watch much Sri Lanka YouTube videos before we came here. 
We tried to, but there wasn't many. I just did not know it was like this. Like there's so many national parks. It's not what I pictured at all, which sometimes is good to go in with like no expectations. Yeah. This isn't really what I was expecting. I, I, I thought it was gonna be a lot more like populated cities, which there is some, but like, look at this. We could be in Africa right now. We're actually gonna go check out the base of Sigiria now because um, we were recommended a cafe there, Seoul Cafe by USB, who, which is, <laughs> <laughs> his name's USB. We met him in Candy and um, it he looks own, like- He owns Sweet Beans uh, Vegan Cafe. Yes, uh, and he was, he was cool, man. We chatted for him for like half an hour and um, he said, when you go there, go to Seoul Cafe, there's good food. And I think there's like restaurants and a bunch of stuff to see around there. So we're still gonna go and visit the base. All right, we made it to Soul Food, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good recommendation. Cheers, USB. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Got a coffee on the way, and a smoothie bowl. Probably gonna get the smoothie bowl here. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, that yeah, looks so yummy. Beautiful. Thank you so Thank you. much. How is it? 10 out of 10 actually. Really? Very cold. Lots of toppings. This is one of the best smoothie bowls I've had actually. Yay! Goodbye. Thank you. Always just so taken back by how many nice people there are that just want to help you out and make sure you have a nice experience here. So lovely. So the family that runs this business cooks meals for us, so breakfast and dinner. They grow all of the vegetables, all of the like chilies, the rice, everything, it's all organic and they cook it all here very it's so fresh, it's so good. And tonight I'm pretty sure we're having uh, rice and curry. I think the grandma cooks it. There's, I think there's three generations in the house. It's definitely two. Yeah. But it's like, we're, we're basically at an authentic Sri Lankan homestay. Like we booked this on Airbnb, but um, I kind of feel like we're just staying at someone's house. Usually that's not something that Lloyd and I would pick to do, but this has been incredible like really, really enjoyable um, and really comfortable. <laughs> So about three o'clock in the morning, while we were sleeping, massive elephant came in here. Is that is that one of the footprints? Oh my goodness! Just here. Wow! Wow! You can actually see like his toes here. Right. Yeah. That's insane. So while we were sleeping last night, there was an elephant just within meters of us. <laughs> and Mango's here. He's probably trying to get these. Yeah. So our beautiful hosts Samita and Kaushi are taking us for a walk around the village to show us everything which is really nice. We've got some really nice sunshine. Um, this is something that you can do if you come and stay here. That they'll do this with you which is really lovely. I 
have noticed no matter who I've ever smiled and waved at, they've oh. always smiled and waved back at yeah. me and I've never experienced that in my life before. Yeah. Sri Lanka, yeah. It's amazing. They are very, you know, hospitable. If someone comes to your place, like, you will always have tea or some sweets, yeah. you know? Life is very life. simple, you don't have competition with each other. You know, that's a nice feeling, yeah. like everybody help each other. Set your skin This used to be an old rice mill that they're going to be turning into a restaurant. They're showing us inside. They're currently renovating it. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Can I finish it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about Buddhism and, but I'm very excited for that we're gonna do that before we head off um, this I'm, just, I'm a little bit sad that this time has come to an end but uh, this little village is so special I'm really really grateful for this time that we've spent here Wow, this morning was very special. This is our last day here, and um, the family actually took us to Temple, and it's a pretty special day here. It happens once a month. It's called Poya Day, is that right? Yeah, uh, happens every full moon. Very sacred day. They celebrate it every month. We got to actually sit down with a monk and learn about Buddhist teachings. Oh, I'm still just taking it all in. It was like a just a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So the family's been incredible to us. Uh, we felt like we've been taken in as their own. <laughs> yes, Amita and his wife and uh, their parents have really treated us like family. And we've been eating breakfast and dinner here 
and getting taken care of. They also took us for a walk around yesterday to show us the area and how like the village works. They all grow their own rice and everything here. It's just like a complete different way of living to what we're used to, like a small village life. And I'm pretty happy we got to experience it. Yeah. If you want to learn more about like Buddhism and living a mindful, simple life, this is the place to do it. Uh, and just reconnecting with nature. I feel like a completely different person than even when we got here just a few days ago. Mandy was sick when we got here. She had two migraines in two days. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was struggling and I feel like I've fully recovered from that and so I feel like really, really good. Um, we'll definitely leave the link to this place in the description. If you feel like you lost your way or anything, I feel like this is a place to come to to find yourself again. Yeah, doing homestays is something I thought we would love because we're the type of people who usually like to be left alone. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we actually have been like completely left on our own but also if we want we can go and hang out with the family and talk and learn about them and they learn about us and uh, I think we're going to start doing it more. Yeah, this has been a very very special experience. We'll leave the link to this place in the description. Really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys in next week's episode. Bye! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> You're not going to make us prosperous, like. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be spiders in here. Who's that? I don't know. Monkey? Probably.